Hi, beloved. Doubt is one of the weapons of the enemy. He used it against us so that we can never ever receive something from God. Remember, the Bible says that faith is what that pleases God. So it means that if you don't have faith, you have doubt. So if you have doubt, you can please God. Now, also, the Bible also says that when you have doubt, you cannot receive anything from God. Anybody with double-minded cannot receive of God. That is what the Bible said. So it's a tool that the enemy used to fight us. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to overcome doubt. It's going to help you to increase your faith so that you'll be able to receive from God. Stay tuned. <laughs> hi beloved welcome to this channel in this channel i make videos that can help you to know how to walk with god so that you not depart from his will for your life and also make videos interpreting dreams for you now in this video my main purpose is to show you how to overcome doubt how to defeat doubt so that you can be able to please god now, I want you to understand something that nobody is immune to doubt. Even the greatest people on earth begin, they, they, even, they begin to doubt. And that is John the Baptist. In, John, in Matthew chapter 11, verse 11, Jesus said that among all that was born, all the brothers was born of, of woman, none is greater than John. But so when John was put in prison, he began to doubt Jesus to the extent that he sent his people that go to him. And ask him if he's the one or should expect one. So this greater one that Jesus testified of even doubted. So no one is immune to doubt. It means that doubt can come. But how do we overcome doubt? That is why I'm here to, to, today to show you how to practical steps on how to overcome doubt. Now the first step is to pray and ask God to help you. When you are in doubt... You can't cause your faith. You can't propagate faith to come. No. You need the help from God. You have to pray to God and ask God that God help me to overcome these doubts. Now, I want us to read something in the book of Mark chapter 9, verse 20 to 23. Bible says, And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him straight away, the spirit there, there him. And he fell on the ground and wallow, wallowed foaming. Verse 21. And he, he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. Verse 22. And oftentimes he cast himself onto the fire and into the waters and destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible unto him that believeth. Verse 24. Straight away, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou mine own belief. So, the one who brought his son for Jesus to cast out the demon from him, Jesus told him, if thou can believe. You see, the guy had a doubt because in the preceding verse, he brought them to the disciples and they couldn't cast him out. So, there's doubt there. When he met Jesus, he was still having doubt. So, he was telling Jesus that Jesus, Jesus saw him, Jesus told him that if you can believe, it is possible. And this is what he said. He said, help my unbelief. Sometimes when we are faced with double-minded, when we are faced with doubt, when we are faced with challenges that is bringing our faith down, please, don't push it. Ask for help. Pray to God and ask for help. When the man asked Jesus for help, the child was healed. So, please, ask for help. When you see that your faith is not there, pray unto God that God help me. The second way for you to 
overcome doubt is to bring the thought of doubt into captivity hold the thought of doubt into captivity Cap- capture it i want us to read something in the book of first corinthians sorry second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 i'm going to read all the way to verse 5 it says for that for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh verse 4 for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of god now watch this and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of christ so we as believers if you want to overcome doubt if you want to overcome doubt and increase your faith capture that thought of doubt to the obedience of christ any thought of doubt any thought that exalt itself above or against the knowledge of christ hold into captivity bring to captivity into the obedience of christ now i know you'll be asking how do you do that by rebuking the thoughts in the name of jesus by speaking against rebuke it when you rebuke it you 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 have power over it it shall flee from you resist the thoughts and shall flee from you. bible says that resist the devil and he shall be free from you now the third point i want to give that can help you to overcome um doubt is understanding god's word understanding god's word in the book of romans chapter 10 verse 17 it says that so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god faith cometh by hearing and by hearing of the word of god now what does this scripture really means hearing and hearing god's word it simply means that faith cometh by understanding god's word when we say hear and hear again it means we are telling that understand so romans chapter 10 verse 17 says that faith cometh by understanding god's word so how do you understand god's word by reading and meditating upon it read and meditate on god's word when you are struggling ask somebody who understands to explain that into you and when you pick it have light get it into you and run with it it will eliminate doubt remember in the book of john chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 it says that light shineth in darkness and darkness comprehended not and the light is god the light is the word of god so when you have the word of god in you light comes in you and darkness departs and darkness will walk with doubt so when light comes in which is the word of god comes in doubts leave and faith becomes alive in you beloved i believe this has been a blessing to you if you're not subscribed to this channel i want you to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos i make now i want to introduce you to yakao prayer network it's an online prayer meeting we meet every wednesday to pray at 10 p.m greenwich meridian time so you can convert it into your local time so you can see the exact time that we meet and we pray and every three days every first three days of every new month we do fasting and prayers every so every first second third of every month we do fasting and prayers if you want to join please send me an email at ypn at denisamate.org and i'm going to join you to the link so that you join us in prayer miracles are happening god is answering people's uh, 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 question, uh, prayers and it is it, marvelous please I, I want to encourage you to join so that you experience the power of god beloved god bless you so much i believe that's been a blessing to you subscribe if you have not i want you to like this video it has been a blessing to you 
and share with your friends that we can be making a blessing to them. God bless you so much. Peace.